Last time on Divided as One. I'm not saying don't ride your motorcycle, but I mean, how many times can you do it? As many times as I want. Why? Because that's how I am. You like it? Cool. You don't like it? Go back inside your house. Don't fucking fuck me ever again. Do you have a video of me going up and down the sidewalk? If you do, please, by all means, go show it to the cops. Let the cops come suck my shit too. I swear like I give a fuck. All I'm asking is to have some respect for other people in the neighborhood. I'm a fucking hard-headed motherfucker. Hardly piece of shit. I don't give a fuck. just woke me up. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. I'm waking up now. Nice people, huh? Okay, it's time for us to leave. This power force thing already started and it's an hour away without traffic. But I, I think we're gonna try now. Here, look, he parks in front of our house. Look at this. Here we go. Serenity now, Mia! Serenity now! There will be no serenity. Serenity now! I can't believe this is still here. Now we're ready to go. So can you imagine trying to do a video with this? Still going. Yeah, yeah. What, which ice cream are you gonna get? Bye-bye ice cream truck. Maybe they're gonna... Oh, yeah. That is totally blocked off. There's no way we can... Stadium? Wait a minute. Dodger Stadium? We're at Dodger Stadium? Yeah. All right, what do we do now? I don't know. Police Academy. It's rerouting us. Police Academy. I think this is where they shot Ninja Quest. Where's the Police Academy? I think Bulk and Skull went here. We're having a little chat with the police. So that car crash led us to a police station. We couldn't make our right, so we had to turn around, and when we went to turn around, it was into the police academy. Continue straight. Which was coincidentally a Power Rangers filming location. I have hive south. We so missed this thing. Yeah. But we had an adventure. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Perfectly good adventure. Morning parking for Sunset Beer only. Okay, that's better than nothing. All right, I was just interviewed. <laughs> Four more. 
Wish me luck. All right, back to Scumsville. <laughs> Up. Look who's up in his garage. Look who's out. But not as spectacular as last night, huh? No. Because our car wasn't here? I can only speculate. Mm -hmm. Is that him? He's starting the bike? Alright, so the bike is starting. I guess he just sits in his driveway waiting for us to come home. Description says it's not what you think, and then you click on it, and it's a list of all the times okay. that orange juice appears on The Simpsons. And you maintain that? Yeah, I didn't create it, but whoever originally created it stopped maintaining it, and I took it over. <laughs> Jerry, you're bad. How active are you? What's this website? The Simpsons Archive. And you maintain the orange juice list That's on right. The Simpsons Archive. Yes. This came today from Image Anime. This looks fantastic. My sleep schedule's off. I wonder why. This was a very good thing we went to today, and we almost didn't go. Let's turn the kitchen light off. Because uh, by the time we were able to get out of the house, the thing had already started, and we were an hour and ten minutes away, assuming there was no traffic. All right, so we talked to an officer, and basically they have to witness him doing it. To do My video doesn't matter. He's certainly committing crimes, but they need to see it themselves for anything to happen. There is absolutely nothing that can be done about this. Just next time it happens, they gave us a number to call and they have to come and hopefully witness it. This oh my God. is for In-N-Out Burger. Hurry before they come. Oh no, here they come. All right, there's two lanes of traffic inside In-N-Out and then these cars are all waiting for In-N-Out Burger. They'll be here for two hours, maybe longer. Me is finding interesting things about our neighbors. So you guys probably saw in the last video we posted that they were filming a lot of the activity in front of our house. So Mia tried to find this guy on Facebook, but we weren't able to find him. But she did find one of our other neighbors who's friends with another neighbor. So uh, she kind of found something interesting. The house with all the white luxury cars that don't have any license plates on them. The son, who's probably in his 20s or early 30s, he claims to be the president and owner of this luxury car dealership that sells like really expensive luxury cars. Coincidentally, it's right across the street from where his parents work, which is also the block over from where me and I go food shopping. There is no luxury car dealership at this address. So we thought that was kind of interesting. There is a website, but you like can't click anything. It kind of looks professional, but like let's say you wanted to click on his Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, it's just an image. You can't actually click anything. And then it sounds like you pick out the car you like on the website and then they they drive it to your house. You don't even have to go in. A little suspicious to say the least. It's not a dealership. I know where that is. It's like, yeah. We know exactly where that is. There's no car dealership there. Like, I saw Yelp reviews for this place. And yeah. It's like six reviews, and they all refer to the guy by name as being the most wonderful, you know, <laughs> most charismatic, most just greatest salesperson. Oh, man, that guy. How he's so helpful and so knowledgeable, so confident. Confident. Oh, yeah. I've, I've met this like, guy. It's like, really... I've yeah, met this I, guy. It's like, yeah, I really believe that these are strangers, you know, previous strangers who just met the guy when they were searching for a car. Mm. What's going on with these people? Only this neighborhood could make you hate an ice cream truck. All right, take it easy. It's just an ice cream truck. Just a ghetto, sketchy, suspicious ice cream truck. It was here yesterday. Here we go. Twenty-five minutes. So you can actually go to your local supermarket, which we're in walking distance from, and you actually get stuff like this. This needs fast forwarding. It's the same truck that comes every single day. How hard is it to make a selection? Pick the ice cream and move on, or go down the street and get your own ice cream. I mean, how much money do you give this guy? Just Get your own ice cream and stop, or know what you want. It's not that hard. Bye-bye, ice cream truck. Wait, what's going on? Hey, 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 no!
is the kid going in the ice cream truck? You enjoying this? No. The kid's inside the truck now. Is this going to happen again now? If they come back... Should we I call the number? Yeah. But there was nothing they could do with my footage. They have to actually see it. What's wrong with footage? I don't know. But they can't. They have to actually see it themselves. Why? I don't know. It's just I their... I don't know. They just said that was their policy. We spoke to an officer for actually quite a while uh, downtown at the police academy. This guy deals with gangs. But he was actually pretty disgusted by the footage. But there wasn't anything he could do about it. We had to see our, our local police department. But he totally got it. There are a lot of sayings like, home is where the heart is, home is your castle, how's it go? You guys know, there's like, home is where you're supposed to be able to go and escape the madness, to get away from all the other unpleasant things during your day or out there. It's supposed to be where you're, it's home, you know? It's, a, it's home. He actually gave me his cell phone number to update him on how this is going, but California's a big place. No matter how many times I explain the police thing on Facebook and on YouTube, everyone keeps saying, call the police. I would have called the police. Why don't you call the police? You should call the police. Bruno, call the police. I don't know how much more clear I can be with, with the police thing, but we're a low priority. I went again to two different police stations because I don't want people to get frustrated with us. We showed the video footage, all the stuff that you guys have seen in this video and some other stuff that's not even in the video. So we went to the proper police station the following day that would deal with the stuff in our area. The guy raised his eyebrows and he said, where is this? He was definitely interested. He confirmed that everything that is going on is totally not legal. For whatever reason, they have this policy where if they don't see it, there's nothing they can do about it. By the time these people go, they're gone. The guy at the station pretty much said, there's really nothing we can do. Sorry. And then I asked, okay, let's say that we called and you guys got there in time. Now they know we called, then what? So he was like, well, if you fear retaliation, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, and then he started suggesting things like, get a gun. That's just what I want is a gun. Oh, yeah, dog. I'm fucking It's almost one o'clock in the morning. Like, there's just nowhere I can go in my house or on my property and have a little peace. I want to sit out here anyway. It's a nice day. If I come to the wall, I, I harass the dogs. Which I better stop doing because they'll call the police on me. I did it. I did it. I'm not allowed out in the back. If I come in the backyard, I harass her dogs. That's why they're barking. They're barking because they hear you, sir. You bother my dogs, they're going to call the police. You stay in your house. That's one of their five dogs. It's like it's early Saturday morning. I'm just waking up, having my coffee. They kept me up until almost 3 o'clock in the morning with their stupid cars. Sometimes you just kind of want to go outside and have a cup of coffee, but that's really too much to ask. <laughs> and if I come in the backyard, they all come out and it's like they follow me. Really, it's enough. Every inch of my house is this or something. Take a pill or something. It's going to be okay. It's gonna be okay. Every single day, she's on the phone screaming. Every since we moved in in 2007, every single day. So if I come, and now if I go out to the front, she's gonna go to the laundry machine and start screaming at the laundry machine. Watch wherever I go, she's outside screaming. There, I don't make this stuff up. It sounds made up and crazy. It sounds made up and crazy. I'm gonna attempt to do some front stuff because this obviously isn't finished. So I went outside to do a little gardening in the front, and there was a guy across the street talking to the across the street neighbor. And then he walked over to see me. Turned out he was a private investigator, and he told me that the people with the car dealership and all the fancy white luxury cars with the no plates, I guess there was a Lexus that was stolen right in front of their house, so the house right next to mine. The thieves stole the car and then immediately 
I guess, drenched it in gasoline and then threw a match inside and, and set it on fire. So that's good to know, on top of all the nuisance stuff from nearly every house in this neighborhood, there's also stuff like that going on. So, fantastic. This guy in the pickup truck, he's a private investigator. He was just standing in his garage, staring at me, waiting for me to come in the house. The cops just drove by. That's a blizzard battle. Talked to two different neighbors' houses. And now, the Daryl's here, we have peace and quiet. I meant the time before. We did garlic herb butter last time, and then before that it was a different kind of sauce. White sauce. White sauce, okay. We actually did try to make a meatloaf pizza. It was more like a hamburger pizza. And then we played video games. On the sidewalk in front of our house. No. Today, day 30? I mean... Really, is this how he's gonna live the rest of his stupid life? Bothering us? For no reason other than we said, what's up? <laughs> a month I, ago? Well, to be fair, I said, what is this exactly? That's yeah. a little more threatening. So I think his plan is just to harass us until we leave. I think it is. You don't find that restful? No, I don't. Oh. The people over there with the luxury car dealership, I guess they were having a big fight outside. They were yelling and screaming at each other. By the time I went out, they had gone back in, but I could still hear them yelling. Nearly every house acts as if they are the only house. If you have a disagreement with somebody at 12.30 in the morning, then why not go out in the backyard and scream at each other as loud as you can for as long as it takes until you get that thing settled. And if somebody doesn't like it, it's their problem. All right, it's 2.17 in the morning. Got my key video up. All right, time to convert this room into sleeping mode to sleeping mode. Yeah, that works. Oh, is that the 2 a.m. helicopter? Every morning, 2 o'clock, and these things rattle. I'm thinking about taking them down because they're always rattling at night. Every single morning, 2 o'clock in the morning. All right, that's enough of this. Let's get out of the house and go see if we can find some dino chargers at the faraway Walmart. Heard that there had been battery sightings. I guess not at this one. This is the only Walmart near us I know of that actually has the chargers. I'm gonna try Toys R Us, see if there's anything here. I think if they weren't at Walmart, it's pro I'm probably out of luck today. Nothing here that I need, but they do have a Dragon Zord. All right, I got a truck and a car. See you on some of our sets. Maybe the quietest IHOP I've ever been to. I know. I could use some quiet. You look like you could use some sleep. I hate when people tell me I look so tired in my videos. I don't want to look tired or be agitated or irritable. I want to be happy and creative and fun. It's hard to do that when you don't get a lot of sleep. No bite. Hey, no bite. No bite. You're making a scene. <laughs> That I have. Those people just left because of the scene. <laughs> but yeah. We're sharing the New York strawberry cheesecake, pancakes, and stuff.
No license plate. Just gonna try to get their plates, they don't have any. No plates on that car. I mean, nobody has license plates. You scumbag. Did you get louder? Yeah, and Holly Jones has stolen my video. That's pretty, pretty unbelievable. But getting more and more common these days. No! And now he's pulling up in front of the neighbor's house. This drive you mad? Ooh, that's very nice, Ms. Man. Okay, maybe we can get back to our show now. You're only seeing such a small portion of the day in the videos. It, it's, I mean, it's, it's hard for me to imagine. Like, when we go somewhere else, it really feels like this is a bad dream. It, it's like, did I exaggerate it? Is it really every minute, every three minutes? That can't be. It sounds crazy. It's 1.09 in the morning, and I can't believe how quiet it is right now. He's out. He'll be back. So I felt like I kind of owe you guys a trip to the police just so you can know that we went and we're not just like being willfully helpless, which we're not. We've done this before. We know all about the laws here and what they'll enforce. Before we moved into this place, we almost gave a lot of money to a housing scam woman and we tried to bust her. And we went from department to department to department to department and everyone, it just went in a big circle until she got away. Oh yeah, you gotta call this department. You call this building, go visit this person. There's just nothing anybody can do. Like this woman is about to take a lot, a lot of money from us. We have her. She doesn't know we're onto her. What do you want us to do? It did turn out that it was a scam. We totally 100% proved it, but now you guys are going to give me all these suggestions. Let me tell you, we did them. Yes, we wrote to various news outlets. Yes, we posted videos on YouTube. You name the department, we went there. Just like with the dogs, I don't even have to tell you how many times we've been to animal control. Everything is set up in favor of the offender. So I'm very happy and envious for those of you that live somewhere where this thing wouldn't be tolerated or where people just know better in the first place. At some point, Jerry's going to come to Oregon with us uh, to visit and look around and try to figure out what we think of actually living in Oregon. There are still things for me here, and that's that really sucks. All right, I should really wrap up. Uh, a lot of you guys do leave us very nice comments on the last video, and I, I do appreciate that. The nice people that we meet online do kind of help restore our faith in humanity a little bit, because our reality here in our immediate neighborhood and area, it really... I'm not going to finish that thought. A couple people have suggested us doing like a, a Patreon thing. I think that's the name of it to help us move. I really appreciate that. But guys, I, we cannot take your money. Save it for good toys. There are lots of good toys coming. But thanks again for that. I really hope I'm not getting sick. I can like, start to feel a little bit scratchy, a little bit dry. Probably from being on this bizarre sleeping schedule, because I sleep when they tell me I can sleep. Now at, at 1.28, I'm going to try to go to bed. All right, I'm really ending here. So thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. I'll be back soon with more good videos, and good night. I'm up. So last night, or this morning, at two something, I was getting ready for bed, and I heard something outside. So I open the window, and I see there's a van parked in front of our house with uh, no headlights on. And there are a couple guys like trying to keep their voices down. They have flashlights going through the dumpsters. I don't know what that's about. I mean, like, there are, there are people that you know, come looking for like glass bottles to recycle for some extra money, but that wasn't what this was. This was something else. Just, there's just so much shady activity just going on at any given time. Not at all what I want to be focusing on. None of this. And my throat is worse today than it was last night. But I think Mia's gonna make pancakes now, so I'm excited about pancakes. Time for pancakes. Good night.